Hey, welcome to another uh, edition of uh, reading uh, MMT, pretty much uh, WTF is monetary theory. I'm still reading from Make Money Work For Us, How MMT Can Save America by L. Randall Ray. And for you who don't know, tonight is going to be the first uh, book club uh, for RP. Um that will be discussing all around the Well, we will have uh, uh, there's going to be three weeks of book club. Um, the last person going to be who's going to be reading uh, from the chapter, I believe it's going to be um, five, six, and seven. I could be wrong about that, but Elrond Ray himself. So, but anyway, uh, I'm on page thirty-seven uh, and D because it's been going from A, B, C, and D. Uh, D, how are taxes paid? When tax payer, um, when taxpayers pays or not taxpayer pays taxes, the financial transactions are the rever are the reverse of the process of government spending. The the taxpayer writes a check on a bank deposit that is received by the treasury. The Treasury send, sends it to the central bank that debits uh, reserves and credits the Treasury's deposit account at the central bank. The bank debits the taxpayer's deposit accounts or account. The net result of the tax payment is that the taxpayer's deposits have been reduced and that banks' reserves have declined. Additionally, the Treasury's Deposit at a central bank has risen and the taxpayer's tax liability owed to the Treasury has been reduced. Note that this is the Treasury's spending that moves the real resources to the public sector and not the tax payment. Payment, or uh, sorry, paying taxes is just a financial transaction, a debit of the bank's reserves, although it is a need to pay taxes that drives the public's desire to obtain currency that can be used as redemption or paying taxes to eliminate tax debt. Recall that reserves of the government's liabilities, uh, liability, more specifically the reserves of the central bank's debt, just as payment of taxes in, uh, in our simplest model above, returns uh, currency to the government and paying of taxes in this more realistic model returns reserves to the government. The reserves are stricken from the private bank's deposit at the central bank. We still use the term tax return in reference to paying taxes. Indeed, our term uh, re revenue derives from the word for return. What returns when taxes are paid? The government's own liability that, ha that it had spent into existence, government doesn't really spend re tax revenue. Even today, the government does not spend what is, what is returned. While it is a common uh, while, while it is a common misconception that government spends taxes, that is not re really possible. When you pay your tax, your deposit is simply debited. Where did the money go? It was stricken from your account. There is nothing that the government can spend. Uh, when the government spends, it takes a form of credit to your bank's reserves and your bank credits your private bank account. The Treasury did not spend the tax. Rather, the Fed made a payment on the Treasury's behalf by crediting a bank's reserves. The Fed has not has not need has not oh wait, I'm sorry. The Fed does not need tax revenue in order to make the payment. Is simply keystrokes a credit to a reserve account. When the colonial America government re uh, received paper notes and payment, they burned them. When the king received back tally sticks, his uh, acquire, I guess, matched and burned them. Today, payment of taxes leads to a debit of a taxpayer's de demand deposits and a debit of a private bank's reserves. Our government can't really spend either of these, nor are these required before the government spends, which takes the form of keystroke credits. We have learned that banks use reserves when making payments to the Treasury. 
This occurs when their customers pay taxes by writing checks against the deposit accounts. The taxpayer's bank must make a payment of reserve equal to the tax payment. While it appears to be taxpayer that, ha that her deposits at a private bank are used to pay the taxes, actually the tax payment is made through a deduction of the reserves of the taxpayer's bank. This is not, a sem this is not semantics, it is accounting. The taxpayer's deposit account is debited to be sure, but the taxes are paid by her or for her by her bank in the form of the government's own liability. Central Bank Services. Taxes have always been paid this way by submitting back to the government of its own liability. Where do these reserves come from? Well, they have to come from the central bank. That is the only source of reserves since there are, since these are the liabilities of the central bank. What if the private bank has no reserves to debit when the taxpayer pays taxes? There are several possibilities the central bank will lend the reserves needed or other private banks with more reserves than they need can lend them to the bank that requires them and them in the U.S., this is done in what is called the Fed Funds Market, or the bank can sell assets to obtain reserves. Usually, the bank will sell treasury bonds. If the bank sells the bonds to another private bank, the bank, the, the buying bank will use reserves and the central bank will debit the reserves of the buying bank and credit the credit the uh, reverse of the selling bank uh, yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry, reserve, reserves of the selling bank to that it can use these when the taxpayers or taxpayer pays taxes. Finally, as discussed in section B above, banks that need reserve can only sell bonds to the central bank. In this case, the central bank creates reserves and credits them to the to the wait, to them to sell the selling to the selling bank. There we go. The private bank exchanges a government bond for reserves and then uses reserves to make the payment of taxes for the customer. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> In practice, the timing does not have uh, does timing does not have to be precise. The central bank allows the time for a bank to acquire the reserve needed to cover a tax payment, essentially allowing an overdraft called float until the reserves are obtained in the real world banks are making and receiving thousands even millions of payments a day so central bank simply clears payments and settles up later the key takeaway from all of this is that the taxes to, to be is for taxes to be paid banks must have reserves that can be de debited so that the return of a government liability can be completed. There are three ways and only three ways <clears throat> that reserves can uh, get into the bank's treasury spending central bank lending or central bank uh, purchases of assets. In other words, the reserves must come from the government's treasury plus central bank uh, before taxes can be paid, just as in the old days. <clears throat> Excuse me. When currency had to be spent before taxes could be paid, reserves had to be created by the government before taxes can be paid. We, ha we have also seen that when bank reserves are debited through a tax payment, the Treasury's deposit account at the central bank is credited. And as we noted, when the Treasury spends, the central bank debits its deposit account and credits the reserves of that bank or other banks that receive payments from the Treasury. Many erroneously jump to the conclusion that taxes must be paid first in order to get positive balance in the Treasury's account at the central bank. However, reserves must get into the banking system before taxes are paid. Furthermore, there are other ways to get positive credits in the Treasury's account. Let's see in the next section. The next section, which is E, do Treasury checks balance due to insufficient funds? 
Uh, we'll be ending it right there. Uh, I'll be doing uh, E tomorrow as far as that part goes. And also, don't forget to go to realprogressives.org and see if you can sign up for tonight's book club. Uh, I believe that starts at 830. Um, yeah, I believe uh, what you can do is go on to Grow Progressives, go to the calendar, um, and for today should have the or should have the book club um, sign up and does give you the option of receiving a free book of making money work for us, how MNP can save America. And once again, also on the same website. There is a portion, I believe, in media where you can uh, go up to that category, go down, and there's a uh, the bookstore. You can go in there and you can order the book as well. Or if you're living in Canada, for instance, you go to Spartac uh, Spartacus.net bookstore and special order it through them. That's the only one I know about right now. So anyway, uh, thanks for listening for now. And I may be back later on for another reading, but who knows? Either way, uh, thank you for listening. Subscribe to this channel and follow me on TikTok uh, at Calvin Taylor 666, uh, where this will go first. Anyway, uh, peace out for the moment.